Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. I am the Novel Crown because I love all things novelty. If it's cool, if it's weird, if it's exciting, I love it. I love carrying stuff in my purse. I'm constantly looking at other people's purse videos and I've always wanted to do my own. So for months and months I've been thinking and I'm finally getting out my first purse video. I'm going to do lots of these. I have lots of purses that some are older, some are newer styles, all different brands. And if you like purse videos and you're looking for something different or interesting, check me out. So I'm going to do the best I can for this being my first one. So if I do something wrong or stumble, don't come for me. I will keep trying and, and try to listen to people's comments to see how I could make it better or, or different or what people want to see. So right here, my first purse that I'm going to show is this is the Lug Rail Car. This is what it looks like. And the pattern is um, Butterfly Gray. And... Actually, my husband just got me this purse. He said, I want to get you a purse. So this is the one that I picked out for him to get for me. And it came a couple days ago. And I do like the Lug brand. There, I have um, a, quite a few different styles in a uh, Lug. And I saw that this was like really different because it has these three pockets on the front. And I had never seen a bag style like that. So I just wanted to get it, try it out and see how I liked it. So I'm going to talk about the bag and kind of like, I've worn it for the past couple of days. So I kind of want to um, talk, also talk about like real world use and how it's been doing like just in real world when I'm going out um, to the car, to the store, going places and how it's doing for me. So um, first off, let's start with just kind of looking at the bag. So it has the three pockets in front. These flaps are also pockets. This is what the top looks like. And this is the back, has a zipper. There are no feet to this. This is just smooth. Um, does have the crossbody strap. And I have it like short, so I could just carry it on my shoulder, but I have noticed if I'm running in and out of something and I accidentally just grab one, it kind of does that number. I don't know if that's, you can imagine, kind of does that and I just kind of carry it either long like that on my shoulder or throw it over my neck and make it a crossbody without having to adjust this. Um, I've carried it crossbody a couple times and that's fine, but sometimes if I'm just running in and out, say I need to mail something at UPS or I'm just running in, I, I don't always take the time to get out, throw it over my head and go. I just put it on my shoulder and run in and run out. That way when I get back in the car, I'm not trying to fumble and get this off of my head and put it back in. So anyways, that's that. Uh, and this material is like, it's the wipeable material. So if water droplets or anything gets on it, it, um, it can easily wipe it off. So um, this front pocket right here is essentially like a phone pocket. But I will say that if you have this bag kind of stuffed full, this phone pocket is not, like you'll kind of be, like I'm using my phone right now to record, so I don't have it to show you, but it's kind of hard to like get in there and get out. Um, it just kind of gets stuck trying to shimmy it. And you see, this is um, like fleece, like, you know, the soft fleece that Lug does. It's kind of gets like stuck if your phone is in a case, especially that has rubber. It kind of like, it just kind of the friction kind of gets stuck and out. So I don't carry my phone in here. Sometimes I will carry. So I have a um, back up um, AirPods charger that I keep in my car or I just throw with me so that I'll always have a charger if I lose my main one. And I can throw that in there and I can fit that all the way to the bottom. But as you can see, if you put stuff in there, then as you're carrying the bag, it does kind of like that number where, I don't know. I mean, it might not bother you, but sometimes I like, I don't like that. So I don't always put that in there. So I carry my phone, <coughs> excuse me, on this back pocket and it fits in here great. So this also has like this gusset. So it goes tall, 
but also this is like nylon so it's smooth so my phone can just fit down in there sideways so i put that down in there and zip that back up so also this has these on these three pockets i don't know if you can tell this right here is kind of like angled so you can put things in there that are longer on both sides and it will kind of fit if it doesn't fit up and down and this pocket goes all the way to the bottom like the other ones do now the the straps are reinforced so they're really sturdy and also the hardware is like the gunmetal and I think that's really pretty for this pattern and this is what I my little thing I tried to put other things on here but there's not a lot of like it's kind of short this way and so like this is one of the things that fit and it's purple and it's cute this is actually my hand sanitizer from um Olinka so um let's get into the bag um oh and it does have this top handle which I think is I mean it's functional as long as it's zipped and I will say when the bag is un zipped you can't really you know how some bags like tote bags with a top zip you can you can kind of carry the tote bag with like the handle you can't really do this on that bag if it's not zipped because see how like everything just kind of like falls out and if you're anything like me I'm all I'm constantly getting in and out of my bag running in and out and I don't always like take the time to like zip and reposition everything so the fact that I can't like keep the bag like unzipped um and like run and you know run in and out um kind of a struggle for me because you know I don't know about you but I don't always put everything exactly back like say I'm at the checkout and there's people behind me I'm just trying to be courteous and just hurry and you know get in and out of my bag and go um but I mean it's fine it's still still very functional um so I also want to show this is how I keep my keys so I have a lanyard here and this bag is double zip but I like to always know where my keys are like in a moment's notice I don't want to be digging in my bag looking for my keys so I keep them on a lanyard that way I can just grab and just kind of pull my keys out well it usually goes better than that but that way I like to keep it dangling on the side of my bag and that way I can just grab them, get into my car, whatever, my home, whatever I need to do. So let's get into the bag. Well, I'll do the, the front pockets first. So these two pockets, I haven't figured out what to put in here yet. I mean, they're good pockets. Like I can stick like my whole like hand in there. So I don't know, I just haven't found anything wick that I need to put in there yet so if you guys have a bag similar to this with these pockets and you have something specific um comment and tell me what you keep in there um so here's the first zipper okay so this right here I keep my if these are like compressed <coughs> excuse me guys so this is compressed um towels so I don't know if you've seen these but you take one of these this is if you're traveling or something or I mean not necessarily traveling anywhere but just going out and you don't like to carry a big thing of wipes or a big thing of baby wipes or whatever with you what you do is you open that and you put that in there and then you just give it a couple of squirts of water there you go and so you see how that's growing and soaking up the water and then once you get it about like that, then it turns into this towel. It's pretty, sub like a substantial towel. I don't think I put enough water on there. Let's see. Okay. I might need a couple of more squirts, but you get the idea. So it turns into this. It's pretty big and it's really soft. It's very soft material. But um, yeah, and here's the little tubes that um, the wipes come in. You just put them in there and put your water in or I guess some solution and there you go. And this is my um, 
hand sanitizer and I just fill it up from another bottle. That way, if I am in a situation where I need a little bit more hand sanitizer or I wanna spray something that I'm not sure of or I'm gonna to touch something, then this is quite a bit. Whereas I keep this hand sanitizer, so I like when I get back in my car to spritz my hands um, to keep them clean. You never know. So, okay, that's what's in that pocket. This right here I have, this is just like, some quick cards so i have a rewards card and my pharmacy card and then just quick rewards like actual cards that i don't want to take up room in my um in my wallet and okay so this is this is from vera bradley this is a um like a club card or you know the these little um, keychain cards so you put it on here and you can just like swipe like that or just quick you keep it on your keychain and you could put cards in here but I keep the ones that I use the most right here and there's a little bundy that you put that through so let's see what's in here oh and so this bag right here on this pocket there's a little see-through window right there that you could put like an id or something but lug had this little card it says believe in yourself that was in there this is my um it's my cords and my oops and my charger i keep it there like my wall charger and i keep an adapter with me because you never know if you know say someone needs a charger you're using yours they have an android or i don't know whatever but it this is adapter to it android to make it into an iphone charger there's that okay so and like i said this pocket right here i keep my phone in um that's all that's there now <coughs> so this it does have the double zip like that which i love but since I like to keep my keys dangling out, if I put it in this top zipper and keep, if I put them in here and I keep it closed on the top, then the um, key sometimes will open it and I don't like that. So I keep it all the one side. Um, okay, so you see how it kind of like opens. So you kind of have to have it zipped at all times. Okay, so let's get into the main compartment. So, on this wall, this is really cool. So this is a really big um, pocket right here and it has elastic. And I keep my planner in here. It's my Kate Spade um, planner. Keep that in there. And this is my, I use this for a wallet because it's so easy for me to just open. Sorry, there's receipts in there, but I keep my cards and stuff in there. And I just like, being able to do that and dig in and out of it. This front, I keep my tile, so I'll always be able to um, signal my tile if I <coughs> kind of, <coughs> sorry, this is morning and <laughs> so anyways, I like to keep that. Then this is my pin case and it has a lot of pins in there that I like to use. Uh, when I go places, I kind of like to have my own pin because you just never know what germs are on what. Um, this is wipes if you if I ever need to go somewhere. They're antibacterial. Um, this is my mini choo-choo, and it is in the same pattern as my um, uh, rail car. And in here, I keep my AirPods case. And I also keep a tile on that because the worst thing is losing your charger to your, to your AirPods. Okay, so this is, I got this from um, Hobby Lobby. And it's just my sunglasses. I keep those in there. Um, this is actually a little sunglasses case too, but I keep a quick snack and a little drink powder in that. You never know you're out, you're hungry. Um, if I don't want to grab something, I have that on me. Um, so this is my stickiness that I use for my planner. 
So if I need to make a note of something and stick it in my planner or tap something, I have that. I got this from actually uh, the Dollar Tree. Um, this right here, so this bag also has a key hook and I keep my glasses case in here. And this is, um, I think this is Vera Bradley. And I keep a little pair of glasses because I can't see a thing. And if anything ever happened to my contacts, I'm blind. I got these from Zenny for like $12. I don't know if any of you guys get glasses from Zenny, but I do recommend. Very easy and very inexpensive. Um, this is this is a, a little small Vera Bradley case. But in here, I keep my, um, it's like my lip balm. It has a little mirror on there. And this you take out, that's like the applicator. And I love this stuff. Um, so this is a uh, bag. So, you know, if you go to Aldi's or wherever, you need your own bag. You just pop that out and have a, a nice tote bag with you. Um, this is tissues, so I keep my tissues in here and on the top, cough drops and peppermints, things like that. So, so in the bag right here is a clear pocket, like Leg likes to do. They almost always have a clear pocket in their bags. They do have two, um, pin slots right here. Keep my quick pin in there and this is I'm sure most of you have seen these this is a um Victoria's Secret like keychain thing and I think you're supposed to put hand sanitizer or perfume in there I'm not sure but I keep my portable charger in here and this is tilt and I keep my adapter because it doesn't this isn't necessarily for well actually it's for my iPad but I can put my adapter in there and make it for my iPhone and it works just fine. Now, this is my, this is what I keep like my toiletries in. So let me show you on this side. So this is, um, has two pockets right here. I kept my toiletries in that one, my Kate Spade um, planner in that one and and here is, oh, I don't have anything in there. But yeah, so that's the, uh, that's the real car. And this right here, just a bunch of stuff that I usually carry with me. Potpourri, my favorite lip balm, dental stuff. Um, I like to have, you know, if you ever get a stray hair somewhere, you need to take care of that. Um, just a bunch of random things. Um, so yeah, that is, that's my bag. And since this video is getting kind of long, um, maybe next time I'll go through this a little bit more, but I don't want it to be too long as people will be complaining. <laughs> so anyways, this is my, my very first, um, what's in my bag video and um, hope I did pretty good you guys. Um, comment below if there's anything you would have liked to see more or something that I can do to make it more fun. So thanks for watching and hopefully you'll watch again. Bye.